Welcome to another edition of the Recruiting Scoop. I'm Jared Johnson, and I know I've taken a, a hiatus from some of these videos, uh, but I'm back, and I plan on providing video content on Inside the Red Raiders, uh, both through CBS video and YouTube. Uh, more days than not moving forward as uh, we get closer and closer to a kickoff of the 2024 football season, which I can't wait for. Um, I, it's, it's a big month right now in terms of recruiting uh, for football from coast to coast. And obviously here in Lubbock, it's no different. Texas Tech has been hosting uh, several recruits uh, uh, on official visits. And there's, you know, updated list of those visitors, uh, commitment stories, uh, interviews already posted all in written form on Inside the Red Raiders. So check all that out. But I really wanted to focus uh, on offensive line recruiting for the 2025 recruiting cycle as the Red Raiders just picked up their first offensive lineman commit in Patrick McMath. Now, just a quick overview briefly, I just want to say I think I think there's a misnomer out there that Texas Tech hadn't recruited offensive line well. That's not true. Offensive line is kind of the epicenter of the program right now. I know everybody wants to talk about Baron Morton, rightfully so, and just the quarterback situation. And almost always, of course, the all-important position of quarterback is the focal point. But I really think, and Joe McGuire said as much for years, him and I had conversations publicly and privately about that, that until they fix the offensive line, you know, they won't be able to take that next step. But there's been a misnomer out there that, like, Texas Tech hadn't recruited op offensive line very well, I think because they've gone to the transfer portal a lot to plug holes. But in the last two cycles, um, which was with this current staff full time, they've done a great job of recruiting offensive line. Now, I've actually been um, a defender of Matt Wells in terms of his recruiting. He hit the transfer portal really well. He actually improved the roster a lot. Now, there are a lot of other things that did not go right with Matt Wells. It was time for him to go. And I think it's been a, more than a good thing that McGuire's back. But offensive line was not recruited well in the Matt Wells era. And I think Joey McGuire has been paying for that, and his staff have been paying for that. Um, it, it was just numbers. It's not even that there was bad recruits, but they didn't recruit enough of them. They didn't bring in enough offensive line uh, recruits. Um, and so they've been, you know, uh, McGuire, uh, general manager James Blanchard, all, everybody involved, the offensive line coaches, have been playing catch up system. But uh, it seems to be that. They like to bring in four offensive line recruits per cycle. They did that the last two cycles, being 23 and 24. Um, good recruits, too. Uh, and then now I, I believe that's the number for 25. I believe they will take four offensive linemen in this class. Um, so it, it will take a while. Offensive line takes a while to develop. You know, most guys don't show up ready to play you know, power four uh, football in the trenches on the offensive line. Uh, but – if they continue to recruit well, like they have the last two cycles, and like I believe they, they will uh, finish up here in the uh, 2025 class, then eventually, you know, it's a numbers game. They will produce a, a good offensive line. Uh, so with, without further ado, I want to jump into uh, what they're doing, what I believe, who I believe the top targets are and uh, where they stand with offensive line recruiting for 2025. Well, of course, like I said, Patrick McMath out of Katy, Texas, uh, 6'4", 255 pounds. Uh, you know, he had uh, other offers from uh, Arizona and Baylor, several other, you know, respectable programs. But he committed to Texas Tech uh, Tuesday morning after taking his official visit uh, to, to Raider Land last weekend. I caught up with him, uh, you know, after he visited and he just talked about the family feel and that's a familiar theme um just that he really enjoyed that it felt right to him when he was on campus which led to his uh commitment uh other interior offensive linemen i believe that they're targeting and both these guys are expected to as of tuesday are expected to visit uh take official visits to texas tech the up this upcoming weekend starting with Nelson McGuire at Midlothian. Now, he's committed to Minnesota, but again, as of as of today, Tuesday, he's still expected uh, to take his official visit to Texas Tech this weekend. Um, 
So obviously, you know, you're competing with Minnesota. You're trying to flip him from Minnesota. Uh, Elias uh, Gillen, or Gillen, uh, 6'5", 295 is another interior offensive lineman uh, out of South Dakota, or actually out of South Dakota, uh, and which is another odd thing. I believe that I feel like Tech's recruiting South Dakota more than I've ever seen in my time uh, over a decade covering Texas Tech recruiting. Um, and Elias doesn't have, and all the guys on here, and they're all three-star recruits, but he doesn't have like a big offer list. But I watched his huddle. Uh, I mean, he's a big masher type interior offensive lineman, and I I trust Texas Tech's scouting department for sure. Um, they're one of the best in the country. So it'll be interesting to see what happens with Elias Gillen in, in terms of do they take him? Um, are they just going to do two interior offensive linemen and two offensive tackles? Already having McMath an interior offensive lineman. Uh, committed, so it'll be interesting to see what happens with that. Uh, in terms of the tackles, Killian Registi, 6'5", 300 pounds out of Keller. He, uh, I believe it's between Tech and TCU. He visited Tech uh, last weekend, had a great time. Um, again, going back to that family feel, he loved that. He's visiting TCU, um, you know, coming up. So, I, you know, or actually he visited Texas Tech a couple weeks ago. And then just visited TCU, you know, similar kind of uh, responses in terms of that he, you know, how he likes both schools. So that's that's a huge battle there. Um, uh, six, five, 300 pounds out of Keller. I used to cover Keller. That's good football they play there uh, in that area in the, in the Metroplex. Another guy, RJ Lee, he just visits six, eight, 335 pounds is what he's listed out. He's from the Houston area, Second Baptist. And, that's who I believe uh, Texas Tech will be battling with in terms of for him uh, is, is Houston. He's expected to visit Houston this upcoming weekend, just visited uh, Texas Tech this last weekend. He's a, a big man, big dude, uh, and uh, a man of not so many words. Uh, but I did get the feeling he enjoyed his time at Texas Tech, his official visit. Uh, he told me he's going to announce a commitment on Monday, the uh, June 24th. So that's something uh, to, to keep in mind as well is that uh, that announcement. Because uh, again, four spots, already got one commit. We'll have to see. Um, Sean Hammerbeck, again, a dude from South Dakota, 6'6, 245 pounds. Uh, Minnesota and Nebraska are also in the mix. Um, so that's an interesting battle. The Nebraska, obviously, there's a lot of ties. Um, Joey McGuire's son, but not just him, Matt Rule being the coach. And there's some other uh, – it goes deeper than that. There are, there are a lot of ties with the two staffs. They actually battle – Nebraska and Tech are battle for a lot of the same recruits. Uh, and Sean Hammerbeck is, is, is a, another example of that. So it will be interesting to see what happens with that. And then the newest guy that I've seen, I found out about, was uh, Ren Brown, 6'6", 270, out of Nebraska – uh, it looks like it's between uh, Tech and Oregon State. So that's that's the battle there. You know, I, again, I want to go back and just kind of reiterate, I do believe Texas Tech has recruited offensive line uh, well in the McGuire era. I think we'll see the fruit of that coming up probably in 2025, but maybe in 2024 if there are injuries or somebody comes on. Um, but, and, you know, that's what you got to do is stack class after class, numbers, uh, with good recruits and then, of course, develop them and, and keep them on campus in this transfer portal era. But uh, a lot of good targets. These are the known targets that I know as of today. Somebody else new could pop up. Um, get some big decisions uh, to be made from some of these guys. Big visits coming up. Uh, a lot of these guys, Hammerbeck, Brown, uh, Gillen, and uh, Nelson McGuire are all expected to visit this upcoming weekend. So uh, stay tuned. But for now, I want to thank you for watching and until next time.